You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com. Okay, but this year, here are several questions about Yahweh. So the first question is, what does the word Yahweh mean? Um, and does it appear in the Quran? Mm -hmm. uh, the word Yahweh is, uh, is Hebrew, meaning He is, and uh, that is taken to be the name of God. It's not mentioned in, in this full form in the Bible. In the Bible, only the four consonants are mentioned, Y-H-W-H, and scholars now fill it out to say that Yahweh is the best uh, pronunciation. Uh, now, uh, according to the Bible, this and only this Yahweh is is God, there is no other. And uh, since the, the Quran speaks about the God of Abraham, the God basically of the Bible as the only true God, then the Quranic God and the biblical God is the same God. Uh, in the Quran, of course, God is referred to as Allah, and, and that in Arabic is the name of God, and that name of God is used also by Arabic-speaking Christians and Jews. And in fact, in Arabic translations of the Bible, we find the word Allah also used, uh, but not as a translation of Yahweh, okay. as a translation of Elohim. So the, the Quran never mentions Yahweh then? No. Okay. So this next, next question is, are Yahweh of the Bible and Allah and the Quran the same God? Which you uh, I basically answered, but, but I want to elaborate on that. Uh, I don't know how much time we have, but uh, uh, v very quick. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the Quran is very clear that uh, Muslims uh, should say to uh, our Christian and, and Jewish friends, Ilahuna wa ilahu kum wahid. Uh, our God and your God is, is one. Um, and, and the Quran, for example, in Surah uh, 2, verse 163, says, And your God is one God. There is no God but Him, the Beneficent, the Merciful One. So uh, throughout the Quran is saying this is, there is only one God and identifies that as the God of a uh, Abraham and, and Isaac and, and Jacob. Uh, for example, in Surah 2 again, the Quran says uh, that uh, uh, were you present when Jacob, uh, when death came to Jacob, when he said to his uh, uh, sons, what are you going to worship after me? And they say, Na'budu ilahakum wa ilaha aba'ikum Ibrahim wa Ismail ilaha wahida. We are going to worship your God uh, and the God of uh, your father Abraham and, and Isaac. It is only one God. So this is the God that the Quran is inviting us always and uh, impelling us uh, to worship. It is the God of the Bible. We appreciate your, your answer, Dr. Barely. You're welcome to that. That's all the time we have. Visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com, and check out our YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash QuranSpeaks. Please continue to write to us. We welcome your comments and questions. I'm Sophia Ali. For all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.